Today's video is about the greatest Primarch that has ever served the Imperium, the Emperor's most favoured son. We're talking about Rogal Dawn. And today, I want to prove to you, the viewer, that Rogal Dawn is still alive. As a fan of Rogal Dawn, as a fan of the Imperial Fist and all its successors, I am constantly getting bombarded by Iron Warrior losers that my Primarch is he's dead he died he's a loser all that type of stuff but you're wrong you are all wrong because rogal dawn is still alive now to prove this point to everyone watching this video that dawn is not dead we first have to go back in time to when dawn was technically dead so this is from years and years and years ago i'll put the book up in the background right now it's called space marine it's by ian watson it was filled with a bunch of old lore about you know the space marines primarchs and there is a segment in that book and it's all about dawn's body and i'm going to read uh, the actual passage or some of the text attached to it that was in that book it's all about dawn's skeletal remains and it says the skeletal body of rogal dawn is embedded in clear amber shaped in the form of the deceased primarch in ceremonies of great importance, there's a light that shines through a hole in the center of an inner chapel, which is directed by a mirror at the amber encased skeleton. That light then illuminates the form of the Primarch in a fluorescent green, giving the impression the mock flesh is alive once more. Now, I will be the first person to admit that Dawn was technically dead. Yes, it upset me. You know, there was rumors that Dawn was taken down during the first Black Crusade, brought down by a body of Imperial cultists, Space Marines. Um, Kurz saw Dawn's so-called death, which, okay, I jumped on that train. I agree with it. Dawn went down defending humanity, defending the Imperium as a good Primarch should. But all that has now changed all that has been folded away everything that we know about has now been retconned by games workshop and all this happened years ago which makes it more insane that people think dawn is dead they updated it to this text which is in the background right now let's read it along it states when the imperial fist defeated the chaos fleet the only trace of their primarch uncovered by their subsequent searching was a single fist dawn's skeletal hand was returned to the phalanx where over the years it has been scrimshawed with the names of every imperial fist chapter master the hand of dawn is the imperial fist holiest icon and serves as a reminder of sacrifice and commitment so it is that throughout the imperial fist history from the orc onslaught of m32 which was the beast to the 30th black crusade they have drawn inspiration from their primarch remains and resolved to defeat their foes or die in the attempt now this is the only single piece of evidence i need to prove to you that dawn is no longer dead because dawn was dead at one point okay and they retconned him not to be dead they had a skeleton and they moved it to a hand that mean dawn is not dead it changes it to dawn is missing dawn is out there somewhere it is unanswered what happened to rogal dawn at this point in the law technically i am correct that rogal dawn is still alive you are technically correct the best kind of correct now of course that opens up the subject of well where is dawn Dawn is not going to be someone who literally just watches the Imperium crumble as it has been doing, right? All these massive threats that have been happening throughout the 10,000 years since the Horus Heresy. Surely Rogal Dawn would be um, a part of that, trying to defend the Imperium, to keep the Imperial dream alive. And I absolutely am with you. Where is Rogal Dawn? That is the big question, a part of this. Not is Dawn is dead. It is, where is 
Rogal Dawn. There's a few theories on this. There's a theory that technically Dawn could be the king in yellow. There's a lot more theories that it's going to be someone else in gold, who we all know as. I'm not going to spoil that one. Um, there's a theory that he may be imprisoned by another Primarch. That Primarch is Alpharius. For people who don't know, Rogal Dawn killed Alpharius. We don't know if he killed Alpharius or Omegon. It's hinted at that it was Alpharius, but there's some trickery in there that Omegon and Alpharius may have switched earlier on. So he maybe killed Omegon, which he thought was Alpharius. The, it, it gets very confusing on that one. He killed one of the twin Primarchs. So basically, one of the theories is as vengeance, um, the, the other twin took Rogal Dawn as a prisoner. He cut off his hand because Dawn cut off one of the twins' hands along with his head, um, and he's imprisoned him. And one of the greatest things you can do to Dawn to punish him is to have him watch as the as the Emperor's dream slowly dies out and he, he's trapped, he can't do nothing. That would be one of the biggest punishments for him. If you go off and kill Rogal Dawn, then Rogal Dawn dies in the name of the Emperor. He wants that. He wants to die for his duty. But to have his duty to then watch the Imperium crumble down, that would be a bigger thing for him to do. So again, that's one of the theories. There's another theory, potentially, um, that Dawn is uh, a Dreadnought. <laughs> Or he's in the Imperial Palace, like, you know, he suffered um, massive uh, uh, damage and he was taken from that ship. The, the Imperial Fist never found him first. He was taken back to Terra. He was put inside, like, a, a Primarch Dreadnought and he's been sleeping for the past 10,000 years, ready to be awoken to serve um, the Emperor once again. There's so many theories out there. I don't know where we can go with. I think the main thing is to take from this video is that Dawn is missing. His story hasn't finished at this point in time. And there's an opening now for Rogal Dawn to come back in the story. I'm not saying he is going to come back in the story, but Games Workshop have made it that Dawn is no longer dead and his fate is left open. So if they want to bring him back, they can bring him back into the new main narrative of Warhammer 40,000. I know this video is really, really random. I'm sorry for that. But with all the talk that we've been having over the past couple of weeks about potential Primarchs returning, Fulgrim's about to come back, the Space Wolf refresh, he's leaving Russ coming back. And I've always voiced that, you know, maybe Dawn could make a great um, Primarch to come back. Crusader Dawn, vengeance, right? Taking the Crusade out into the galaxy again, that kind of thing. And people have just been peppering there with insults, banter, like Dawn is dead, your daddy's trash right he's got no hand he's locked in a cupboard he can't escape that way you know he can't even wipe himself from the toilet and i won't stand for it i will not stand for this lies and slander if anything games workshop has made dawn alive again they've they've undeaded him right he is now alive he's somewhere out there in the galaxy waiting to strike waiting for retribution waiting for revenge he wants to take back the stars in the emperor's name once more thank you for coming thank you for watching if you've got any thoughts feedback if you've got any theories where dawn could be yourself post them down below sons of dawn unite don't let the trolls in the comment section take it away from us dawn lives brothers